the Pan American Health Organization, which I represent here, and let me say before I proceed, uh, I am not, uh, I don't have a Haiti field experience. My, my friend Manuel Calvit, who is there, uh, has extensive field experience in Haiti, and I brought him in case I say something insane here. But I have been following the, the response, particularly the response to the cholera epidemic. So uh, I think uh, what's going to be the future of the healthcare system? How, how can we look for a future? And I think PAHO in Haiti has several roles. We have a role in, in surveillance and epidemiology. We have a role in case management. Uh, but we, I'm going to, s for this purpose of this conversation, speak about one of them. We manage the health cluster, the UN health cluster. And the UN health cluster has 400 members, 400 NGOs and foundations and UN organizations. Just imagine the number of people here in this room multiplied by five. Uh, each of them speaking a different language, with a different interest, with a different perspective. Some of them need help instead of provide help. And we we'll coordinate that every day. We meet them every day or every week or we are there for the long run. And I think we learn a lot of things uh, in the health cluster about some of the challenges that these organizations trying to rebuild the health system uh, face in Haiti. The first one I think has been alluded here is this eternal contradiction between the short term and the long term. Uh, and you just ask, when are we going to have the rebuild? And we are trying to do something model. We are trying to rebuild port au mm -hmm. in, in a better way. And that contradiction affects everything we do in health. And I'm going to give some examples. I think another is the local perspective as opposed to the national perspective. And this morning, I got an email from this organization. And I'm going to mention someone by name because it's a, an example of Cooperation Haiti, Partners in Health. Poor Farmers Organization. If there is one individual whose name has been associated with Haiti, it's Poor Farmers. He has done a tremendous job in Haiti. And, if, and yet, if you read the newsletter today, it only speaks about the, the, the communities, the central plateau where Partners in Health is stronger. And uh, you don't really get whoever reads that new newsletter. There is not even a mention that elsewhere is not exactly the same. And what are some of the other challenges? So I think if we want to rebuild the health system, we need to have these 400 partners looking uh, in, the long, in, in another perspective. Another challenge is that uh, a lot of uh, the, uh, the help, the partners, they want to go there for, to help in a very specific condition or health condition. And when we were there trying to organize the, the health cluster, we saw a delegation of dentists coming from uh, the US to extract uh, teeth. And this was not only in the middle of the cholera epidemic, this was in the middle of the hurricane. So they were just uh, trying to find a place to stay. Then they want to help. And of course, people who got their, their tooth extracted were, were thankful to them. Uh, and yet they didn't look at the big picture. It didn't really help us to have them there at that moment. And I really appreciate uh, the, the effort of all the health partners who are able to see that. And I think the US government plays a very important role because they have uh, uh, a, a very important program for HIV AIDS in Haiti. And they are looking at ways to use that program, that infrastructure, to also to help to, uh, with other health conditions, which is not something easy, I think, for a, uh, a government organization to do. And I think, uh, um, of course, the Red Cross has a lot of experience in dealing with all health conditions. So uh, we are there. But we see that there are many partners. They, they have a very focused approach. Uh, and I think now trying to get to answer your question, the most challenging thing is to work with local partners. And the first local partner, of course, is the government. How can we rebuild the health system in Haiti if we're not going to rebuild the Ministry of Health? This is the very first thing. Now, it's not easy, is it? Uh, a lot of these health partners, they, they can report how many uh, uh, lives they have saved, how many treatments, how many, you know, this, this is very enticing. Now, it doesn't really help if you, if you say how many times you spoke to the government, you have a meaningful conversation with them, how many times you motivated them. Uh, and this is what is maybe in the long term the most important for the health sector in Haiti. A and it's not easy. It's not easy for us either. And in the beginning, for instance, uh, as we're speaking about the data in Haiti, we saw that the numbers of the cholera epidemic were very weak because the departments were not reporting. The central level was holding the numbers. And there were a lot of uh, deficiencies in the surveillance system. And we were aware of that. And yet, we have to say, those are the numbers. They are the numbers provided by the Haiti government, and we stand by them. And we are going to try to help them to improve. And we need to, to manage our discourse around that. 
Now, uh, this morning again, I hear uh, there is a, a wish, a desire in Haiti to say that we are past the peak of the outbreak. We are not sure we are past. We may be, but we are going to learn that after we are past the, the, the we are not, we are not going to be, to be able to predict that. Uh, and again, we have to manage this kind of expectations. Can, can the health cluster, can the Pan-American health organizations, can the other organizations say yes, we are, he we, are, we are passed because the government sector wants to say that, well, this is something you need to discuss with her, with them, and maybe to have a more management, uh, manager response. So I think those are the, some of the challenges we have to rebuild uh, the, health, the, the health system. I think uh, it has been said here, uh, 2010 was not a lost year in the health system. I think we faced a lot of challenges. We prevented a lot of other uh, communicable diseases. There were lots of vaccination campaigns and all the partners here worked in them. I think other things that have, haven't been mentioned, we're able to expand the programs for children uh, below five years of old, uh, five years of age, uh, to be uh, treated by free in hospitals and private clinics and public too. Uh, and the same for pregnant women. This is new programs. And I think, uh, you know, there is, there is a lot. We need to build on these responses. But I think the most important thing, coming back to my original message, I think all the health partners, they need to have a long-term view, a long-term view that needs to be a view of Haiti overall, not only of uh, a small clinic or a small department or a small province. Uh, and we need to work with the local partners. And that, of course, includes the government of Haiti. Thank you.